Today in Engineering Newswire, we're healing bones faster than ever, learning to curve bullets, and test driving a half-scale amphibious tank. Yeah, it's gonna be a good episode. The Marine Corps' Warflight Lab recently showcased the Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector prototype as part of the Rim of the Pacific exercise, the world's largest international maritime exercise. And this thing is the half-scale version. A track-driven ship-to-shore connector, this thing is still huge enough at half the proposed size with a length of 42 feet, a width of 26 feet, and a height of 17. In its full-size version, the vehicle could support a payload of nearly 200 tons, or up to three main battle tanks at 60 tons each. Propelling this beast, both at land and at sea, are two captured air foam block tracks. And at around a pound per square inch, the low-pressure air cells in the tracks also allow the vehicle to navigate through marshes and mud flats. But more importantly, it can scale a 10-foot high sea wall. Darbit has managed to take ballistics to the next level with its Extreme Accuracy Task Ordnance Program, or Exacto. 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 What has? What has? What has? <sighs> Exacto was created to help military snipers hit distant moving targets in unfavorable conditions. And now the program has successfully completed its first live fire test of in flight guidance. You heard that right, guidance. Meaning that they're steering bullets, literally. According to DARPA, Exacto's specially designed ammunition, a variation on 50 caliber bullets, and real-time optical guidance system help track and direct projectiles to their targets by compensating for weather, wind, and target movement. The optical sighting system was tested by setting a designated target and aiming off the mark. Using the maneuverable bullet, an off-target shot was redirected to successfully hit the chosen target. Of course, DARPA isn't giving up a whole lot of technical details on this, but the organization is now working to conduct a system-level live-fire test. A little frightening. After looking at this, I want to go jump off of something and break my arm. Oh, break it, Pepe Le Pew! As you wish. <laughs> Designer Dennis Karasahan is using 3D printing and ultrasound pulses to create a cast that helps speed up bone regrowth. With low-intensity pulsed ultrasound, or LIPAS, pulses of sound waves that are too high frequency to hear increase the incorporation of calcium ions in cultures of cartilage and bone cells, as well as increase the expression of genes known to assist healing. Karasahin's cast design uses a portable ultrasound generator that promises to reduce bone healing up to 38% and increases the heal rate up to 80% in non-union fractures. When incorporated with New Zealand designer Jake Evel's Cortex exoskeletal cast, there is room to add the lipus probes without the need to break the cast. Patients even have the ability to scratch an itch without the possibility of losing a pen cap in the cast, and they can avoid the common smelliness that casts are known to produce. You all know what I mean. It smells like dirty feet. In both Evel's original and the Karasahin extension, dubbed the Oisio cast, an x-ray and 3D scanner map the area that needs to be supported, and a cast is designed and printed. The lattice is made in two halves and snapped together. The holes are made smaller around the injury site to increase support, but are still large enough to allow probes to be threaded through. Oh, actually did it. Oh, you did. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.